children, grandchildren, cousin, brother. Um, then the next morning, um, the family will gather uh, at the funeral home location where they will um, be joined by uh, the Imam Zayed, who is uh, presiding over uh, the funeral arrangements uh, for prayers. And, and at that point, uh, a funeral, a, rather large funeral procession will take Muhammad through the streets of Louisville to allow anyone that's there from the world to, to say goodbye, celebrate the life with him. Uh, he will pass by landmarks of the Muhammad Ali Center uh, where um, you know, it's named after him that he led and, uh, and follows his principles. Um, he will then travel down uh, the street named after him, Muhammad Ali Boulevard, through his old neighborhood, and then come back up Broadway in Louisville, uh, where many iconic uh, photos of him were taken, uh, especially after his, the 1960 Olympics victory, uh, the parade for Muhammad that occurred, and will end at uh, Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville, where he will be interned in a private ceremony uh, with family only. At 2 p.m., uh, the um, memorial service will begin at the Yum Center in Louisville. It will be an interfaith service uh, directed by the Imam Zayed. It will uh, include clerics from multiple religions um, including uh, former Senator Orrin Hatch, who will represent the Mormon faith. Um, we will have, we haven't confirmed all eulogists at this time, but eulogies will be led by President Bill Clinton, uh, Bryant Gumbel, and Billy Crystal. Um, after the memorial service, there will be a private reception at the Muhammad Ali Center for friends and guests. Um, and so that will include uh, the service for uh, Mr. Ali. Um, at this time, I'll take any questions that you might have. Um, yes, sir. They had a full day to say farewell to Muhammad. All family members, all, all daughters and his son were in attendance and his wife. Um, they got to spend quality time with him to say their final goodbyes. And um, 
Uh, it was a very um, solemn moment, as I have repeated um, since last evening. It was a, um, it was a, a, a really, you hate to say this about a funeral, but a beautiful thing to watch because it was, uh, you know, it, it, it displayed all that's good about Muhammad Ali, and the family displayed that and with dignity. And uh, of course, there was sorrow. They were, you know, in sadness, but um, it was uh, done. Uh, where the champ would have been very proud of his family. And was he the by Yes. Yes, sir. Muhammad came ill Monday um, and was hospitalized Monday night. I'm, I'm losing track of time. Uh, forgive me. Uh, Monday night uh, he was in the hospital, but he was in fair condition. And we expected that to be the, the case. Um, you know, Muhammad has battled uh, back many times. And uh, we expected it to happen this time. Uh, the family um, was called when things became more serious. Still had a lot of hope that it was going to turn around. Uh, I arrived in Phoenix a couple of days ago. Uh, and then shortly after I arrived, it became clear uh, in discussions with Lonnie Ali and with his doctors that um, his condition wasn't going to improve. Uh, and so. Um, you know, they um, were able to bring all family members in the last 24 hours when we knew that things weren't going to improve. Uh, they were given time to say goodbye. Uh, Muhammad, uh, officially, his official time of death was 9.10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, his official cause of death was septic shock due to unspecified natural causes. They're having a, it's, it's very rough at this point. For the family. All family members are having a tough time. Was there ever any communication by him over the years that he wanted his spouse to spend the act on the car? I don't know that, an, I don't know that answer. Yes, sir, Matt. Bob Richardson with NBC News. Any plans for a memorial service in Arizona? There is not at this point in time. Um, there, at a later time, uh, there could be something, but for right now, um, all memorial services um, will be held in some town of Louisville. I don't. I, I, I was not there. Uh, his final moment. His actually final hours were spent with just immediate family. There were lots. There were lots of very close friends that flew in to be with them, but they respected the family. They didn't. Go to the room, so I don't know. Yes, from the back. Yeah, question from uh, the British Network, ITV News. I, I wonder if we finally are, are aware of not just the impact in the United States, but the passing of Ali is having uh, around the world. And how do you feel about the tributes being paid, literally from every corner of the globe? Uh, they do, and, and they're very appreciative of all the outpouring around the world. Um, and that's why I think it was important to them to have a celebration uh, and a memorial service that was open to everyone uh, uh, from all walks of life. Uh, you know, it's, they're heartfelt. Um, um, they certainly believed that Muhammad was a citizen of the world, and he truly was. And uh, they know that the world grieves with them, and they've received, as you can imagine, tens of thousands of well wishes and um, support. Um, Michelle Steele, ESPN, you mentioned that the funeral will reflect his values. Do we have any specific requests? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the last one. Did he have any specific requests for his funeral? Well, this entire service was his specific request. So, yes. How long ago, many hours before he died, his family knew he was dying? He, he did not suffer, no. Um, I think the realization set in the morning of his death. A um, couple more questions if we have them. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Jennifer Coleman, from the University of Do you have any idea of what you're going to do in the future of the charity and Mr. Alden's support, especially in the brain research? 
You know, you know, obviously, um, you know, the Ali family will continue to support those. Um, Lonnie will still be very involved and very active, uh, and so uh, I, I, those will continue to go forward. Um, what they have asked, and that, that brings up a good point, is that in lieu of flowers and cards that uh, you know, donations be sent through the Muhammad Ali Center in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, two more questions. Yeah. Anybody? Well, I think that's for I think that's for historians and for history, but I think he'll be remembered um, as a man of, of the world who spoke his mind and wasn't afraid to take a chance and um, went out of his way uh, to be a kind, uh, benevolent um, individual that um, really changed the world. I mean, Muhammad Ali changed the way People challenged authority and, and looked at it in a completely different facet. Last question. Councilor for the ESPN, can you just mention how people around the world can stream work and this can be seen a lot of people in the world? Like uh, yes, and, and thank you. And so through the um, Muhammad Ali Center website, um, MuhammadAliCenter.org, uh, and it's in the release, I believe, that you got, um, that you received, but through MuhammadAliCenter.org, uh, the, the actual um, service will be streamed uh, throughout the world uh, and, tr and translated as well. Uh, so they'll be available to follow along. <laughs> Well, it's going to be in the Muslim tradition. Obviously, that's why the Imam is leading it. But Muhammad truly uh, loved all people. I mean, you know, he, he, he wanted, it, you know, this whole service, the, the service, um, the funeral plans were done years ago by Mr. Ali, who discussed them personally. Okay, thank you very much.